Ooh ee, ooh ah ah, tin tan, willow walla bim bang. Ooh ee, ooh ah ah, tin tan, willow walla bim bang. Ooh ee, ooh ah ah. Wait. That's what the real Toby would say. Buongiorno, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the Toby on the Telly podcast. My name is Toby on the Telly. Welcome back to Utopia, the one and only place to get your rocks off to your cuck husband getting fucked by another man. Who count as Jax? Bum 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 carry the wind, carry the wind. Ergot, Melfight, Raven. Set. Ready, set, suck a dick. Ready, set, prepare to suck penis. Mm, you've really activated my sucking penis. Mm, be careful. Be careful or your penis will get sucked. I'm telling you, be real careful. I've, I've seen some penis suckers around here. Be, be careful. You may not believe it, but I've I've seen some guys suck some penis around. <laughs> Sorry. Hey yo, what's up, baby? Hey yo, what's up, baby? What's up, baby? Hey yo, baby, what's up? All right, chat. Wait, I'm into Yone? Ugh. Ugh. How, how, what, what, what's my matchup like into Yone? Or as some people call him, Yon. How are we doing today? I'm doing good, thanks. Oh, good. Strong against Yone. Perfect. Um, I'm actually strong against Yone. <laughs> well, that's good. <laughs> well, hi there, Johnny. <laughs> we all float here. <laughs> well, hi. Ah. You need your little boat back? <laughs> ah. Oh, we all float here. You need your little boat? Whoa. Sorry. This champion is an early game bully. Play aggressive. That's right. I'm gonna play super aggressive. Your E timing should be. Do -do -do. Welcome to Summoner's Rift. <laughs> oh, I'm <little> Georgie. <laughs> this is a bit of a wacky, goofy mood. Incade, incade, insane! They are insaning! Oh no, guys, they are insaning! Not insaning! Oh no, guys, they insaded! Oh shit, guys! Guys, it's so not epic. I just saw them insane.
What the fuck? Yone's already up there? Dude, you are so efficient and fast, Yone. That's why you're so sexy. So efficient and fast. Just a wacky, goofy mood. Damn, Kane got that little choo-choo train. You a conductor of the hype train. Let's go. Sheesh. I ain't never lost. You know that, right? Too hairy for humans. Too smooth for Viscai. Choo-choo! Choo-choo! Dude, screw this asshole. Literally. I don't know what the fuck that was about. Any set mains in chat? What's up, Stefan? Yeah, nice one, Yone. Oh. Hey, yo, what's up, Jax? What's up, homie? Is he gonna come in? I feel like I never see set played anymore. Did he get nerfed or something? I need to read sets passive to remind myself what it is. I haven't played him in a hot minute. Fuck. Where the fuck is Yone? What is he doing? Dude, this guy is desperately trying to fight me. I don't know why. Can I tower dive him with my ult? I don't know. No! Fuck. <laughs> that answers that question. The answer is no. Well, I mean, actually, I mean, it was successful. Just wasn't completely successful. 
Limit testing, limit testing. That's what it is. Yeah, I told you that I never would. It's all fun and games. Someone gets their face caved in. We just need to keep bullying him. Keep him behind. If he's smart, that's how he'll farm. He'll just wait till he can push in and then farm like that. My E wasn't on cooldown. Sad. I mean, was on cooldown. I could not fight him. I don't like hurting people. I like the money I get from hurting people. Rampage. Fuck, dude. I'm fucking myself here. Why did he ignite me? Set gains health regen for each missing health. Okay. Oh, uh, so this is about storing grit. Okay. So that's from like being hit. Come on, one more hit, one more hit, one more hit, one more hit. Fuck, dude. What a fucking idiot. Why would he try and fight me when I had the slight health advantage? <laughs> and the item advantage. All right, stocking up on items. They called me Set the Beast Boy. So we should. Ha. Now it's Set the Beast. Boy. We should like at scale him here. We should beat the shit out of him when we're in lane. What the fuck is happening here? What the fuck is happening there? What the fuck? What does he her her son mean? Fuck, dude. Only thing an honest living makes you is broke. We just gotta bully him as much as we can. Hello in Swedish? Oh, okay. What's up? I'm doing well, thank you. How are you going?
How's Jax doing? Okay, he's not doing crazy well either. That's good. I don't know why I keep pushing him under the tower. I can't fight him under the tower. That was a nice flash. I'm saying it. I don't. I don't like. I don't like uh, talking myself up. But I feel like that was pretty good. I don't think I would have got that kill otherwise, which makes it worth to me. I think. <laughs> Mid lane's not doing well. Fuck, dude. The crack in a bone. He's dead if we get on the tower. An ally has been slain. Your turret has been destroyed. Dude, he's just giving me free kills. Breakfast was good. Just had some cereal. Alright, let's back. Get our mythic. We're doing pretty well. Four and one. We have double his CS as well. We've been a bully in lane, which is exactly what we're meant to be. Oh, Kais is doing fucking God's work. Let's go. Let's go kill Jax. Yone's an easy kill. They got this. A wise master once said, be like water. Yes, I'm gonna Well, Yone had to ult, so that's all right. Shame that mid lane's struggling so much. We jungle set. No, I'm top lane. Glad I don't have to fight me.
fuck. <laughs> they should have just left me to die, honestly. Why are they trying to surrender? What? What? I reckon they should have just let me to di left me to die. That w what was that? <laughs> I got collapsed on by four of them. That's what this team's doing well. The enemy team, they're roaming together really well. We need to kill Lux so that she doesn't get too many Dark Seal stacks. Mm, well, we've lost that. This Pike's 1 and 5, but he's playing like he's a lot higher than that. I haven't been watching him play, but like like just watching that there makes me realize why he's 1 and 5. Where are you at, Yone? You still in here? Where'd you go? I wasn't going to catch him. I had to ult him. I didn't have to flash ult him, though. <laughs> I just did that to bring him back. I was worried he was going to get away. Okay, well, they're, they're pushing bot. I should push top. Fuck, dude. Dude, my team sucks. That sucks because I was doing so well. I reckon I could have killed them. Honestly. Only thing an honest living makes you is broke. Fredo, uh uh. Fredo, you think you're slick? You think I don't notice you there? From past experience, we lose these. Oh, dude! Dude, I got them so low! I so fucking so close to clapping them all. <laughs> that sucks. How are they in our base this early, dude?
Mm, yeah, they probably are doing Baron. Ah, uh, maybe not. Fuck, dude. Stop. Don't fight it, dude. Don't fight it. You lose these. Why? Why fight it? They know they lose it. I don't get it, dude. People make no sense. This Gwen is actually complaining about 70 ping. That's like nothing. Nice. Go Pike, fuck off. Someone go kill Yone so they can get some money. Well, that's... That's game over. <laughs> Unless Gwen can hold this. Who fed? Pike. And Gwen. And Vega. There's only Kaiser and I that didn't really. Hmm... Nice. I mean, they did need the entire team to kill him, but, you know, still. Something, at least. <laughs> I would love to kill Jax. Okay, now we can do it.
Oh, dude. How are we going, chat? What are you guys up to? How are you going? I assume most of you would just have me on in the background. What are you doing while you, while you have me on in the background, huh? The fuck you doing? Hmm? Hmm? Tell me. Tell me. This pike plays like they have way more kills than they do. What's up, Milk? How are we going? Damn, at the start of this game, I was like, oh, sweet, we got an easy win. Then my team threw. <laughs> Chilling with a pal gaming. Love it. Nice, Hen. Hina, gotcha. What's up, Doctor Who? How we going? I always look over here, at the Max. Thanks, thanks, thanks. Um. What was this? Dude, we actually had a guy come in here one time. Wait, yeah. what? The yeah. first day I got here. The f literally uh, the first day Grace was here. My Uber driver's like, oh, I know that guy. Can I please come in and see the place? No like, way. And, I'm like, and then, and then check, no. this I'm like, check this out. I'm like, no, no way. way. Uh, Grayson said no. Right. And, then, <laughs> and then and then Minx Yo. gets an Uber. Thanks, Fresh. Appreciate and then it. It's the same guy. And when he picks up Minx, he's like, hey, can I come in and go to the bathroom? And yeah. he, did he come in? Yeah, and I didn't realize this until no I that. No way. That's so and, fucked. And then whenever he comes in. I'm like, no way, this guy picked me up last week. Yes, I yeah. Will. Yes, exactly. Dude, he might be watching right yeah. now, though. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> the guy that picked me up was the, when we were in the car together with Alinity and them. You were in that car, right? Wait, which guy? That this guy. I, That's fucking creepy, dude. How you going, Zoe? That's fucking creepy. Yikes. Look at you, Dino Nuggies. So cool, dude. So cool. Look at you. Wow. Look at you, sweetheart. You learned how to spell that today. That's fine, dude. I get it. You know, you learn how to spell something new and you just want to use it as much as you can. That's sick. How is it going, guys? Ugh. Drew Peacock, you're back with another. Drew Peacock, dude. Fucking Drew Peacock, homie. There's lightsabers, there's spaceships, there's weird. The light we love all the movies, and to have the opportunity having regular meetings with Lego, access to all of telling throughout Lego Star Wars is incredible and filled with jokes and funny moments. Because in a Lego game, we have freedom. You can use the humor, and we can spin it. So. Han Solo is still being Han Solo, but he might have a banana instead of a blaster or something like that. Uh. I'm playing set again. I'm set in my ways. <laughs> we 
knew we needed to refresh the game and get something that felt familiar but reinvented the systems the frame yeah gay is pretty easy to learn able us to do that over like a hundred different gameplay mechanics and all the different systems that make up that game real-time processing on the voices so when you pick up a helmet and you put it on your voice changes to oh that's cool like you're a stormtrooper well looks like you've got a stormtrooper problem you should look into we're putting a lot of emphasis on, on the lighting and the environments. We have something like 12,000 materials that were generated for the game, 20,000 unique models, and 26,000 textures. If you're a fan of LEGO Company's work, you'll be amazed at the resolution and the amazing work that the models team have done. We get to recreate all these iconic designs, literally brick by brick. We built the ships entirely out of LEGO bricks. That's not just the exterior of the ship, that's the interior, so you can land inside these ships. What? Walk around in an environment. You can land, you can just randomly come across ships and fly into them? That's crazy. As accurate as we could make it. Yeah, but we use the blaster combat, we bring the camera down, we get into this like third person perspective, and it just really makes you feel like more in the action, which is pretty great. You can fly into space and there's like just interactions that will happen. Giant ships like a Star Destroyer coming in. You can try and fight it and you go defeat it and you can capture it and take it over. Damn, this new Lego game seems crazy. No roar, no, no worries, Keen. No worries, mate. Uh, what's up, Khalid? How you going, mate? No, not bad. Hope you're doing well, mate. Not a problem. Let's go. Get came to. Wait, that's a that's a global Twitch emote? Huh. Who knew? Hmm. Oh, it's Maud. Okay, so once once Mordecai misses his E, we want to fight, basically. <laughs> this is all. What the fuck is that? It's called Man Chicken, dude. Why is it called Man Chicken? <laughs> what is it? Man chicken. Okay. Everyone here knows how to throw a punch, right? So I don't have time for lessons. Welcome to Summoner's Rift. I don't like invading with my team because when I'm top lane, I mean, because it's it's pretty it's generally a coin flip whether or not whether or not it goes well, and if it goes well, then sure you get a tiny little advantage, but it never feels that worth to me. Okay, they got Zed's flash. Okay, they killed Thrash. Okay, so that's good. That's something you know. Okay. See, trading's bad. But, I mean, someone got 400 gold. It was the Silas, though. The Silas support. Ugh. Now, that could be huge. That could be enormous. But it could also be terrible. Okay, we'll see what happens here. Mm-hmm. 
Legend of Zelda, Manchick. <laughs> Wait, is there actually a Legends of Zelda thing called Man Chickens? Fuck, dude. Oh, he's only got two as well, so he's, we're actually fine. I just think I'm fine. Yeah, I'm fine. I could have gone bad, so I'm, I'm, I'm happy. The Kraken of Bones is the Kraken of Bones. The fuck was that about? An enemy has been slain. Why did you just attack the wall? Ooh, it was close. Ah, fucking Poppy. She was there waiting for me. Cheeky little bitch. Cheeky little bitch, hey? What a cheeky little bitch. Oh. They're called... Okus, apparently. Oh, okay. Zinzao, don't waste too much time here. You better, you better win this. Dude, not worth. I just gave that to him for free, dude. No, dude! Oh, fucking thank God. Holy shit, that was close. I just decided to commit and see what would happen. He was not happy. He's angry. Killing spree. Calculated? Definitely. <laughs> definitely calculated, I promise. It is definitely calculated. <laughs> Could not be further from calculated, but that's okay. Hi, Teddy. Is this Hope's Die Last? No, this is the final episode. What's up, Shivs? An 
Ah, fuck! <laughs> fuck! Love the recent podcast? Thank you. I'm glad you liked it. This guy's built differently. You really want to fight me? I just came back to lane. You have a huge disadvantage. Everyone's got a plan until they get slammed into the ground. We're not going to go in on him? Yeah, I kind of thought we we're going to go in on him. Wait, he's level eight. Okay. Before I came along. Yeah, it's asking Alexandria. I don't know why I ulted. I don't know why I did that. There was literally no reason to do that. Shit, I'm fading a little. Oi! Ah. Uh -uh. Naughty fuckers. Don't get dogs, chat. They're, 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 they're such cunts. <laughs> Is Vayne AFK or something? Violence is my business. And business is my business. Okay. Ah, that's annoying. Let's try sweetheart. That one actually was calculated. Unlike the last one. <laughs>
I mean, I wasn't going to get out of that. Yeah, let's go to triple. Nice. Was it yes? I think so. I am needing help top lane. I am killing him sometimes and then other times I am not killing him. So I am needing assistance, please. Hello, maybe I'm getting help please soon sometime. Maybe from Silas or something? I don't know. From anyone is happy. Fucking fading cunt. <laughs> you fucker. Stop me from getting cannon, you dog. What well, I would give to live this night again. Dude, don't just don't just go right in, please. Annoying. Dude, that was nice. I'm, Silas just, Silas just fucking got altered by a mod that was three levels higher than him and didn't die. How? How? <laughs> Zero LP. Let's go, baby. <laughs> Fuck. I'm so shit. <laughs> da, 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 da. Oh, I did decent damage though. Look, I really want to play. I really want to play bot lane Ari, but like I shouldn't do it in ranked. My team will flame me, but I kind of want to. <laughs> Damn, I'm getting games so fast today. That is true. Oh, we got Silas support. He can carry me. This is a Rimac Nevera. It's an electric powered hypercar and it costs 2 million euros. It's got almost 2,000 horsepower, so I'm going to launch it. Man, turn the key. Here we go. From 0 to 32 kilometers an hour. Oh, I see, I see, I see, I see. I thought it was going to be that he crashed it. Sideways, straight into this pole. Because I'm Matt Watson and you're watching Car Wow. Buying a new car. Fuck, they banned Ari? And my team will help you. Fuck. Caitlyn, Miss Fortune.
Uh, okay, we'll take Caitlyn then. I'm on the case. Sheesh! <laughs> yeah, we're we're doing it. <laughs> What are your thoughts on Renata? She's cool. You find your next car at a fair price. CarWow, your one-stop car buying comparison site. Let's start this video by me explaining exactly what's going on here, because I'm not just crashing this car for lols. What's happening is the very last crash test this car has to complete. Do I want it? Yes. In the crash or similar in it. And going into the dummy, so the worst part of the accident, and that happens around 50 milliseconds in. Now back to the crash test proper. Now the 45 that Rimac has performed, five are for European law to be able to sell the car in Europe. Then there's 22 for the US market. So they do a few more variables, one of which is the fact that you have to crash test the car with the dummies wearing a seat belt and not wearing a seat belt. Because in some states, you don't have to wear a seat belt in a what car. What the fuck? He's going to initiate the test, and then I'm going to take over. So, go on, Does it ever get cold in Melbourne? Yeah, a little cold. Matt, turn the key. Here we go. Here it comes. Yeah, you kind of expect more to happen. Okay. Dude, this is sick. We just get to stare at a, a hot chick in a bikini all game. This is epic. <laughs> uh, I like Renata, though. I think she's cool. She might be OP. I don't know, but she's cool. Is this a Nunu mid? Damn it. If we had a Nunu mid, that would be like a guaranteed win. Me, Mitt? Not by a long shot. Minions have spawned. Okay. Honestly, not bad. Flashes, ignites, stuff. All right, this Swain said, I will fuck you up, Kate, for touching me. They don't like me, apparently. Fuck. I'm back on the case, and this time I will not fail. I played that badly.
Silas is playing very aggressive. I think it's because if Silas doesn't get kills early in as a support, then he's fucked. I, I feel like he's useless if he doesn't do well early. Perfect. So I understand why he's playing so aggressive. Shit, dude. An ally has been slain. Boom, headshot. Wait, is this misfortune taking airy? Was that airy? Cannot afford to falter. Is that normal? Comet. Okay, yeah, yeah. The smallest clue can break a case. I'm just glad I got an assist. Always maintain a proper chain of command. That's all I needed. All I needed was an assist. I ain't staying there, motherfucker. <laughs> I'm gone. <laughs> I'm out of there. My tip sticky, bro. Damn. Sheesh. Absolutely thrown. Pay no attention to the trap. This is where you yield. She nearly got wombo combo, dude. How have the games been today? Uh not bad. First game is set, I did really well and um my team did really bad and we lost. Second game uh, also, as said, I did pretty meh, but my team did well, which was good. I didn't do badly, but I didn't do great. Um, and then this game, I wanted to play Ari AD, and then they banned Ari, which is okay. Oh, that's 360 damage. Okay, we need to keep track of that. Played set? Yeah, yeah, I can play more set, though. We can play more set. I, I was enjoying him. The Silas is interesting. Oh, I'm a bit low. <laughs> Crime is common. 
Logic is rare. Shut down. I was dumb. I threw that. I don't know why I stayed, honestly. I should have left. Wait, did Miss Fortune get executed? The fuck? Yeah, but I enjoyed Sam. I, I, we, we played two games, and, and I enjoyed both of them. I did okay, both of them. The, I, I struggled them to Maud a little. This Misfortune's playing so aggressively. Oh, are you fucking kidding me? How much damage does my ult do? It says it does 396 physical damage. But Misfortune had less than 300. She had 300 health. Why didn't it kill her? What the fuck? I'm confused, dude. The thing about having someone like Silas as your support is he's trying to get kills constantly, which means that I'm left in lane alone, which is okay if you're doing well, but it does make it a little harder if they're not, you know, if you're not. Doesn't account for armor. Hmm, see you. Nice. I'll have this finished before tea time. Ah, oh, fuck. I did it again. not good. Emma, Mr. or Mrs. Mrs. Oh, Miss. I'm coming.
Okay. Now we back. We buy our mythic. I assume she's got hers. Yep. Misfortune builds Eclipse now? Interesting. Okay. Ooh, I'm hungry. I didn't eat enough dinner. I mean, breakfast. That's true. Kale does scale late. Unless she gets her ass beat. Lethality MF with Comet. Yep, it's bizarre. <laughs> Alright, and now we can get their tower. And we should be good. Last night chat we played AD, uh, ADC Ari, like actually AD Ari, and it was, it was fucked. Why is the stream called Sorry? Because uh, I'm playing League. I'm out. I'm out. Later. Yeah, but we played we played AD Ari in bot lane, and it was we 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 got some kind of decent plays from it. Like it's it's not bad. Okay, my farm's all right. We got a tower. I'm not feeding. I'm happy. Dude, I don't know if I've seen Rek'Sai at all all game. With my own two eyes, I mean. Might fuck around and get mid tower. <laughs> I always aim to win, and my aim is perfect. Right where I want you. Exemplary. Legendary. Damn it. Target in sight. Your team has destroyed a turret. Securing the perimeter. Is people hating League sort of a meme? It's like sort of a meme, but sort of not. Like people do hate League. But. But, and it's like, but it's also kind of a meme. Hmm. Brilliant. 
on the trail. Oh, wait. He is a bit low. Where the fuck is the ass? <laughs> what a fucking idiot. <laughs> I love this game. I find it very enjoyable, but I understand why people don't. No, no, you can ask as many questions as you like. I don't mind, buddy. I'm totally happy for people to answer to ask as many questions as they so desire. Damn it, I wanted the assist. <laughs> Excuse me? How was he that behind? I'm so confused, dude. Why do they walk into my traps? To be fair, that Yasuo is is very shit. Dude, give me someone to ult. <laughs> I can't do anything. <laughs> Wagwan. Oh, it's Teddy. Hi, Teddy. I must always be three steps ahead. <sighs> Damn it. I could have killed her. If I played that just a little bit better. Just a little bit better. I quite like Caitlyn. She's quite a simple champion. Honestly, there's not there's not that much point like risking it to kill Yasuo because Yasuo, he gives you like a hundred gold. That's like it's like eight minions. <laughs> like he's so behind that it's I don't even know if it's worth fighting him. Like you know, you win and what happens? You get you get a little bit of gold. <laughs> mm. 
Should we go kill Yas just because he's being a, a dog? That was easy. This Yasuo is like, see, you do need babysitters. <laughs> it's so funny. What's up, gang? How you going? What's up, Spoopy? Teddy. Finish building cut condos for the day. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. You won't escape. An ally has been slain. <laughs> what the fuck was that end? What the fuck was that end, dude? <laughs> oh, that was so dumb, dude. I was so dumb. I felt very, I felt pretty useful there. Uh-uh. No. No. Don't not mean to play with that. Can't just move your tongue at me and say, this is actually okay for me to play with, mom. This is actually okay. I can't say that. It doesn't work like that. It's not okay for you to play with. No, it's not. It's not. What is it? Nope. Uh, do we play bot again? I enjoyed it, but that doesn't mean I'm going to enjoy it next game, you know? I enjoyed set as well. You know what? We'll, we'll swap them. We'll swap them around. Hello, uh -uh. Look at Fredo. They turned him into a little rat at the groomers. They turned him into a little fucking rat. Hey, Fredo.
Turned you into a little rat. He's got no fur. <laughs> Holy shit. You know, the driver looks pretty safe. Like, they wouldn't be uninjured. Let's go check out the damage. Why was that? Why was the driver an amputee? This show is sponsored by BetterHelp. She's considered one of the most controversial streamers on the internet. By the end of this video, we'll find out if entertaining millions of followers live has been entirely gratifying, or if the stalking, swatting, and invasive attacks she's endured has been more tormenting than anyone could ever imagine. Hello, Kate. Hey, hey. what's up? Why do you think some people consider you to be such a controversial figure? I've been trying to figure that out also. I think it's just because it's a girl on Twitch and she has cleavage. That's unacceptable. Do you think it's because you've been banned multiple times from Twitch? Maybe, but a lot of people have. How many times have you been banned? Five times. They call it suspension, oh. not actual ban. Not banned because it's yeah. not permanent. It's like a timeout. What did you uh, do in that time? Did you reflect on yourself and say, I'm never going to be a bad person ever again no usually i just i plan ahead for my content i'll do photo shoots the whole time that i'm oh, banned so i just give, get ahead on so stuff they, they give you a break it's more of just accelerating the work that i would be doing so that when i come back i, I can just stream that week and not have to take the photo shoot days huh interesting have you ever publicly broken down your revenue sources and how much they bring in the biggest one is and are we allowed to say that? An undisclosed website for fans. Okay, I make about 1.3 to 1.4 million a month currently. And then- Sheesh! Dude, she's making- My second biggest one- She's making like 15 million- She's making like nearly 20, 20 million dollars a year. Over 100K there right now a month. I think Twitch is the third one and I make about 100K there a month. Damn, what am I doing on YouTube? So I gotta be on some websites <laughs> where fans go wild. Are you ready to spread them? I'm ready to try it out. Um, anyway, um, <laughs> how do you respond when you hear people say- Honestly, good for her. Yeah, for sure, dude. It's so, it's, it's just impressive. Look, people, people love to bag on her. People love to bag on her, but she, she works super hard. Like, she seems like she is constantly working. She's a very hard worker and it's paid off for her. When's the new podcast coming? It's on YouTube. Go go to the YouTube Misfits podcast page and you'll find it, buddy. All you do is monetize your, your looks or lick a microphone. There's like probably millions of girls trying to do what I do who no one's even heard about. So it's clearly mm. not just looks because I'm sure a lot of them are more attractive than I am. So it's also the dedication to putting in the hours, looking at each strategy for the social media is a lot of work. Before you started creating content, what were you doing? For work, I actually had a character company that I owned, and we would go to birthday parties, do hospital visits for kids. That's different. so cute! What the fuck? It's like a dream job. And then what got you into doing what you do now? Twitch. 2016, they invited me because they had this creative category, which is funny because now people are like, "Get off of our platform!" And Twitch is for gamers. You were like, personally hey, Twitch, invited. <laughs> Twitch invited me to stream. What propelled you into the massive popularity that you see? Once the hot tub started in 2021, at the beginning the of the hot year, tub meta. that's when I went. Who started the hot Wait, Amaranth blew up from the hot tub meta? I thought she was already huge. Hot tub meta. People were doing uh, outside streams in hot tubs um, for a few years, see. right? Yeah. Off and on. I even did that outside in my pool. Someone got the idea to start using an inflatable tub inside. Within like 30 minutes of me setting up the hot tub, it went... I just don't enjoy some of the things she chooses to do on Twitch when it's only fans tier and people get banned for so much less than her. I hate that she gets a pass because she makes Twitch money. I just don't think that's true, though. I don't know if she really does get a pass just because she makes Twitch money. She doesn't make Twitch that much money. 
I don't know. I don't think she. I don't think the stuff she does is that bannable. Generally. And I'm like, why have I not been doing this the whole career? What do you think was the draw? I think it was just the fact that this is something that people haven't seen before. Because before they made a section for it, it was all in the just chatting section, and so they would just start seeing thumbnails of like girls in bikinis in a hot tub and with various floaties, and they're like, what is happening? How is Twitch allowing this? Uh... So it was kind of like they would tune in to see like, are they going to get banned live? I want to be here when they get banned because I'm mass reporting. It right now and then some other people were just enjoying the view and what made it so controversial there's a lot of twitch's audience that for some reason are just against women using their looks and it's funny because video games do that constantly yeah people. i don't understand why so many people like volleyball, have a problem with women I'm using their looks for the doesn't make sense it seems to be accepted widely when male dominated industries use women for looks but when women start using their own looks it's not acceptable anymore yeah yeah I have a friend who got banned for a day for suggesting making an emote of a cartoon cat twerking. Okay, but I don't think I don't think that's <laughs> I don't think that's uh her problem. I don't think like that is a problem of Amaranth being bad. I think that is a problem of Twitch being inconsistent with their bans. I don't think there's anything wrong with Twitch. Uh I mean anything wrong with Amaranth there. Like you can't say i don't know i like when people say that like amaranth they don't like amaranth because of what she gets away with or something that's not amaranth's fault and i don't think that the stuff that she does should be bannable personally didn't there used to be a cleavage limit on twitch Welcome to Rift. people get banned for cleavage people don't really get banned for cleavage I mean that was that was like like real old real old twitch maybe but that hasn't happened for years I don't think you can you can pretty much get away with wearing anything on twitch there's a different website for her it's called Pornhub but she's not doing porn on twitch what she's doing on twitch is not porn so why why does she need to go on Pornhub? She has an unfair advantage because Twitch decides what's acceptable and what's not based on status. I don't know if that's necessarily true though. I think it's just fucking luck. I think it's blind luck. B big streamers get ban get uh suspended all the time. She's had five suspensions. Like, I don't think that it's Twitch choosing not to suspend her because she's big. I think it's just fucking... It's just blind luck. Their bands are inconsistent. Whatever happens, happens. She's nowhere near as bad as some of the other like ASMR girls and stuff. Some of the, some of the ASMR girls and stuff, they'll like borderline have sex with an ASMR mic on Twitch, and it's just like because they know they can get away with it, you know. And like she doesn't do stuff like that. This is so, this is, every time we fight, it's so close. So close. The Garen, uh, Garen heals a lot. I gotta be careful. He knows. He knows not to fight me there. He's playing smart, because it would have looked like, like if you did, if it was, if that that wasn't, if I wasn't set, you would see that and be like, why did Garen not kill you there? Fuck. 
people say they don't like violence. First they all blood. Want. I don't think that's watered. I think you just showed yourself. <laughs> An ally has been slain. Fuck. I've been watching you guys on YouTube for so long, and this is my first time actually catching a stream. What's up? Welcome. Sorry that your first time catching a stream is me playing League. <laughs> Unless you like League, in which case, you're welcome. <laughs> Fuck, he's got his ult already. An ally has been slain. Everyone's got a plan until they get slammed into the ground. Fuck. I mean, she's not the worst, but Twitch is just not the place for hot tub streams. Uh, but it is. Why else would they make a category for it? You, you, like, you can't say that Twitch is not the pace for hot tub streams when they literally made a category for it. Making it the place for hot tub streams. It is It is 100% the place for hot tub streams. That's the thing, you know? I don't know. I just, I just feel like I can't blame someone for taking advantage of the situation that has been put in place for them. Woo! That was close. Let's go. Things I love. Uh, my mama, freaking next. Well, this is shitty. My teammate just said we lost. Wait, I thought I was backing. Misfortune just said, who cares, we lost. Always a fun sign. Fuck, dude. I fucked this up. No, dude. I, mean, I did ping it. No tapping out in my pit. Dude, my entire team's already given up.
That's so fucking annoying. <laughs> if I ever find my old man, well, I hope hmm. he's strength in it. An enemy has been slain. I'm gonna die. Ooh. Pause the fight. Forget to stretch. It helps the whole nothing. Violence is my business, and business is movement. An ally has been slain. Someone gets their face caved in. Pacebreaker! Dude, he's so speedy. Mama always said I had her temper. Fast as fuck, boy. You can't lie your way out of I should go. I'm a bit low. Fuck me, dude. Zed is eight and one. You can't lie your way out of this one.
this whole damn place. Everyone loses. Well, almost everyone. Damn it. My team wasn't there. Rip. Hmm. I think my team's going to FF at 15. So dumb. Just found out Karthus is my favorite league character. Why is that? Cause he, cause he can just throw. <laughs> no one in my team gets an honor. Fuck those guys. What have been some of the ways that you've been attacked online? Oh, I'll get like death threats all the time. People like, I'm gonna kill your family, or I'm gonna come in and kill you you like i'm gonna go to your barn and poison your horses does any of it phase you it used to and at this point i think it's all just like hot air anybody who has the resources to actually make these kinds of things happen typically don't have enough time or the desire to hate people online in a chat room how do you feel when you read negative comments online i feel kind of bad for the people making those comments life is short you don't get that much Free time you know and they go online and they just lash out at people like how upset with your own life do you have to be where you find that fun some people journal some people go to therapy some people attack people online it feels good doesn't it, it feels great because they keep having to do it even if it's negativity it's still engagement it's still another view count there's people who like have these negative opinions of you stick in their mind longer. That's just how human nature works. Haters are my biggest advertisement. Sometimes if I lock my chat into sub mode, yeah. they'll sub, and I'm like, thank you for the sub in hate comments. And I'm like, well, at least it's You still me. receive hate when it's on <laughs> sub only mode? They'll sub just to hate. And I'm like, thanks for the money. Are you constantly Genius. Objectified? Ever since I was nine, I would like run across my street to my friend's house, and there would be guys cat calling me from the side of the street, being like, what's up, sexy mama? And I'm like a nine-year-old. Nine Welcome to being a Woman. Like, if people are going to be creepy to you, you might as well get the bag. A few Halloweens ago, I dressed up as Sherwolf, a werewolf that was also Cher. So many men driving by whistled that was also Cher. So many men driving by whistled at me, <laughs> screamed at me, said things like, Ooh, hot mama, shake that booty rump, go bouncy, bounce, bounce. <laughs> yeah, I played Lost Dark. It's pretty good. I posted a community tab post on YouTube asking people, hey, let me know your questions for Amaranth. And so many people were like, she was fully exposed by Ludwig for, for watching Netflix and tuning into other streams while she streamed. Did I just find out that you're secretly watching Twitch while farming thousands of views? You watch movies and shit too, I bet. And people would like you to address this controversy. What's wrong with what? You're telling me what's wrong with that? Watch YouTube or Twitch while they're at work. It's the biggest controversy of the year. And you were working and then you weren't fully there. Oh present. my God! You weren't present with your audience. Sorry, I'm not present present enough to read the constant train of. Pick a tit out. <laughs> Show your teeth. The yeah. real reason is because ASMR. It's meant to relax people, and I'm listening yeah. with headphones a lot of the time. Yeah. So it relaxes me too. If I don't want to fall asleep on stream. I have to have something stimulating my mind. What about when you are sleeping? Are you streaming while you're sleeping? Some nights I am. I actually you're... have more viewers when I'm asleep than when I'm awake. <laughs> what? It's crazy. Are you kidding? No. When I'm asleep, it'll spike to 20k. Just the. Uh, it's so funny, dude. Oh. 
so funny. Then what? it goes back down to 10k, and I'll have like an uh, alarm, and as the time gets closer to the alarm going off, people will just pile in and be like, what's gonna happen? I think they're hoping that I'll forget that I'm on stream when I wake up and just start stripping or something. Oh, <laughs> that's what you would normally do when you wake up in the morning. <laughs> normally I wake up already naked, but oh. you know, on stream I have to wear clothes. I only do it because society makes me. Exactly. <laughs> Does any of that hate that you receive online trickle into your rhythm? Occasionally it does. I've been swatted so much to, at this point where the, the cops, they don't even have their guns out anymore. And I, I tell them, look at my stream too. If I'm online, that I'm not dead, right? And they're still obligated to come by. How <laughs> often are you getting swatted? A few times a month. Typically. What? At this point, I feel like I should just- A few times a month? Saying yeah. hi, like take one, please. You mentioned that recently someone set your trash can on fire. I guess they were hoping it would catch the house or catch my attention. I'm really lucky because it was inches away from catching on the yard. And it was really unfortunate. Now that the police know that I get swatted so much, I tried to call in to report my own incident. And they were not sure if it was actually me. How do you prevent that? Do you have any desire to prevent that? Or are you just like, oh, that just comes with the territory? I would love to prevent it, but I don't know how you prevent it, right? When I move, get my ranch property. There you go. I can do whatever I want. 20 foot chain link fence wall. A mode with crocodiles. Autonomous turrets. <laughs> Our team of kangaroos that were punching. Or kick. That too. <laughs> what has been your most disturbing fan interaction? A stalker. They were just blowing up my DMs like a novel over the course of like probably six months. And they would just respond to everything I did on stream as if I was talking to them only. I decided to read it through them one time and it, I saw the evolution of crazy. It went from, I'm so glad I found you on Twitch, you're awesome, happy to support. Right, time to beat the shit out of some fucking trash tear bot liners, huh? You think the FBI would just know what she does and why they get tips? Well, yeah, but they, I mean, it's the police, not the FBI, but you know, that they, they still have to go. Cause like, you still have to check. So if someone calls the cops and they just don't come because they don't think it's real, then that's fucked up. So they have to go. What's up, Harlequin? What's up, Tobias? They don't have to break her door down or anything. Well, yeah, they don't. They don't anymore. As she said, she said that they they don't even, like, have their guns drawn anymore. Because usually when someone gets swatted, they, like, you know... Um... You know, usually when you get swatted, they, like, come into your house with, like, guns blazing and stuff. But, yeah, apparently now they don't even... They don't even pull, a, pull the guns out anymore because they just... It happens so much. Oh, fuck, Akshan, dude. What the fuck? Ask for code word stand down. Well, I mean, they could just... They, they, they should still show up, you know. The sin is bad. As a Santa, you help leash because you get buffed by it. <laughs> Trash. Trash! What is happening? An ally has been slain. Do not move. <laughs> Haven't played League in a minute. I'm still learning how to play, and that's why I like it. Yeah, yeah, it's a it's a game that you can learn forever there's there's so much that you can learn which is great okay bot okay
I'm a bit low. Might fuck around and back real quick. <laughs> I also always played FPS games and RPGs, but nothing like League. Yeah, yeah, fair. I get you. I was pretty similar. I was pretty similar. But I just, I, I don't know. League's different. It's like fresh. It's nice. Don't overextend trend. Don't overextend trend. Oh, nice. Nice. How are you today? I'm good, thank you. Rank? Oh, this is iron, dude. <laughs> I'm like, I'm trying to get better, but like, you know, it takes time. Wait, Graves took the kill? I didn't even notice. We're poking her down pretty good. Your jungle main, nice. Jungle Nunu, love it. They're doing a pretty good job keeping them low. Oh, they are so low, dude. They are so low. They're, they're surely going to back. <laughs> What's up, Taya? Oh! I'm dead. Dude, they're so low. We need a gank too. I'll be adding back to the charges. Just stay alive, Santa. You got this, boo. Stay alive. And keep them here. Oh, they're leaving. <laughs> Too late. No, my CS. It's my business to know what Yo, Santa, you should probably be back soon. You have no items. There you go. Yeah, Karthus is cool. I will not tolerate lawlessness. Does Zeke have voice chat? Uh, not in the traditional sense. It's only got voice chat between friends, I'm pretty sure. I 
Sentinel is always aware of her surroundings. If I'm at least, then I don't put on another pot of tea. How is Zaya so healed already? I thought she was low. I guess not. Yeah, so you can only you can only VC with people that you're queued with, which is useless because like obviously they'd use Discord, you know. I think someone's here. Am I crazy? I thought I saw a fucking nocturne for a sec. What's up, Shayna? How you going? Why does the title say sorry? Because I had to apologize for what I did, Shayna. Which is play League. <laughs> Play League, Shayna. I played League. It's fucked up. It was a really fucked up thing to do. I shouldn't have done it, and I know that now. Damn it, I didn't even get an assist. I'm gonna make sure I'm farming to take advantage of it. Could be worse. Could be playing Rocket League. Blech. Get one plate. Do not disturb the crime scene until I return. Oh, baby, just maybe you can. Need to get up at 6 30 tomorrow. Ooh. I went to sleep real late last night and then woke up early to stream for no reason. Just because I was like, yeah, I'll just do that. I'll just do it. What is she doing? That was bizarre, dude. And then I altered because I thought that she was going to keep doing it, but then she didn't. It's just really weird. Trying to stay on top of the farm, dude. Shit alt, dude. Is that Nocturne coming? No. Yep. Nice. Feathers fly! You can't root Rift Herald. 
No matter how hard you try, Lux. Unless he actually backs. You're playing Earth? What the fuck? He just fucking destroyed them. I know back. Oh, it's because he's got hole breaker. That makes sense. I thought he was just telling me to leave. Well, Akshan's clapping cheeks. Let's go try to kill Graves. I mean, <laughs> not Graves. Uh, fucking Garen. Guaranteed to be a four-year-old player. Great band. He just got... Oh, I thought he got tower hit again. I was overextended for way too long. To be fair. <laughs> Stuff Elizabeth, how are you going? I'm doing good, thanks. Favor. This action's fucking dope. I reckon he can kill her. I take it back. <laughs> I take everything back. I was lying. No matter the situation, a good investigator always remains calm. You coming, Graves? See that? Calculated. I knew exactly where he was going to be. <laughs> I 
position. As expected. He's dead, right? A little overkill, but yeah. <laughs> He's dead. Maybe a teensy weensy bit overkill. Maybe just like a little tiny bit overkill. Like if there was a kill and if, and if the kill was here, that would have been like up here. Yeah, just like a little bit, a little bit overkill. Holy shit, Trindamere's like a hyper farmer, dude. It's ridiculous. Law bends for no one. Dude, Senna is six and zero. Oh. <laughs> Fuck. Whoops. I always aim to win. An enemy has been slain. He's gonna die, right? Yeah. My team seems to have a habit of um overcommitting. Someone show me where the institute is. <laughs> One must never start an investigation without first examining the evidence. I'm so behind. I feel okay though. An enemy has been slain. Dude, whose ult is faster? It's a video game. Dude, this fucking Akshan is disgusting. He's doing, like, God's work, dude. He's an actual god.
Is his build broken? Or is he godlike? I mean, it's probably both. Got a blast. I probably could have killed Nocturne there, actually. Excuse me, you have my bag? I have your bag? What does that mean? <laughs> what does this mean? That was easy. Bag my dick up, you fat. <laughs> Bag my dick. What does that even mean? Mate, that's a fucking stretch and a half. Like your asshole was last night. And it evolved into, I'm so glad you're my girlfriend. You're amazing and I love you. And then it turned into, like, I'm so glad we're engaged. He would Photoshop himself behind me in pictures. Oh. Like, I had, like, mirror thing. selfies and he would Photoshop himself in there, like, holding my waist. And how far did that go? It got to, I'm in Houston. Isn't your friend going to come pick me up at the airport? And you've never interacted with this person no. as far as you know. He got a hotel in my P.O. box zip code. And so I could not go outside for, like, two weeks while he was in town. Is that just commonplace for you at this point? Are you just like, oh, that this is... That level was exceptionally crazy, but yeah, crazy people are very commonplace now. Do you find the people that hate you or the people that obsessively love you more of a threat? Both, because often they can actually be the same person. A lot of times they'll start off as obsessive lovers, and then when you don't acknowledge them, they become obsessive haters. Yeah, that, that makes sense. I can see that. Does this job prevent you from having public relationships or dating? It's really hard for me to feel like I can date anyone. What type of um, guy would be willing for me to ignore them for 15 hours a day while I talk to other guys online? He might have to be desperate because I don't consider myself like <laughs> you the most... You think someone has to be desperate to try to date you? <laughs> I'm not the most attractive, right? It's like there's, there's probably girls who are just as good looking, if not more, who won't ignore you for 15 hours a day. <laughs> What makes all of this worth it? My goals still do make it worth it for me because my ultimate goal is to make this huge animal sanctuary, like not just like kennels and stuff. I don't want it to be like this little tiny shelter in my yeah. backyard. You want a, a Disney world for dogs. Yeah. There's one that I look up to right now, Big Dog Ranch Rescue, and it cost them, they said about $2 million per year to run. So you want to get to a point where you are comfortably bringing in at least $2 million a year passively. That's why I haven't done it yet, because I'm waiting for my passive income to get farther than my active income, so that way I can pivot my focus, because you need that. Otherwise, the funding yeah. for it could dwindle out within a few years. Do you ever find that your self-worth is attached to your numbers? I don't really consider my self-worth attached to it, but it is disappointing if I see the numbers falling off. Because at the there end is of the day, you know, I'm gonna Is there going to be a podcast next week? So uh, no, I see, like, all don't the think so. Kind of going down because yeah. these platforms are being taken down. Like Instagram was a huge hit. Mm. It really makes me feel like guilty a little bit. Guilty. Like if I had been more mainstream, maybe people would hate me less, type of thing. And yet you're able to retain that distance. 
from your work? I just feel like if you let it get to you, it's only gonna get worse. Cause this isn't like my passion. Being a content creator isn't like what I wanted to do. I'd much rather be riding a pony somewhere in a meadow playing with dogs. Yeah. <laughs> like yeah. playing Pokemon. Like I'm just like a six year old in an adult woman's body. I think people get that misconception like, oh, such an attention whore. They'll be like, you want attention so bad. I'm like, no, I don't. I want the money to do what I want so bad. Mm. I've definitely found myself feeling really hurt when the numbers fall and I'm like, what am I doing wrong? What does this mean about me? <coughs> I do wish that I had your perspective. I think another reason why the numbers don't affect me on a personal level is because I don't feel like I'm truly hate when I'm doing all Oh, that's so work. interesting. Like my personality doesn't really change, but I attach like my actions, my streams, my content to Amaranth. My default desire is not to throw ass and get attention from men all day. <laughs> what was your childhood like? I would say pretty lonely. So I played a lot by myself, had like Pokemon toys, super into Pokemon, had my Nintendo 64. My brother was five years older than me. So when we were really young, we would play video games together, but that was pretty much the only person I played with. On my street, there wasn't a lot of kids either growing up to play with, but there were a lot of dogs in my neighborhood. So the dogs became my friends. You grew up in kind of a conservative family. Your parents were a little bit more- Anthony, he is, yeah, he's done really good do stuff. What, do? what he does is sick. Apprehensive just because they know that men are creepy. They were very scared for my safety. The point where my parents like, is this really worth it? And I'm like, okay, listen, I make a million dollars a year at that point. Now I make it a month, but at a year and they're like, Okay. <laughs> <laughs> they needed to see a number to know how yeah, cool they were with you. Exactly. I've seen some news articles pop up mm. explaining that you have wild investments. Oh, Can you explain yes. these wild investments yes. with your millions and millions of dollars? I think the biggest one was the gas station. It seems like such a weird thing. You're like a Twitch streamer who got popular with the hot tub meta has a gas station. <laughs> Very uh, contrasting. Why yeah. gas station? Well, my accountant came to me with this, I can depreciate the whole cost of the gas station building. The building is about 3 million. So basically I can take that 3 million and I can detract that from my total income. And now Shit. I'm taxed on this new lower That's income. That's smart. So it saves me about 1.1 million in taxes. Now I have this gas station that I own and it makes back profit would be like $85,000 a year profit, but I don't have to do anything. So you can either hold on to it or- Well, I'm in a, I'm in a contract because I'm leasing it out to a Circle K. <laughs> You're leasing your gas station to a Circle K? That's how that works, yeah. You also tweeted recently that you invested a million dollars in stock, Visa stock. Yeah, that's just a really reliable company. So I feel like there's you can't lose with that one. And I'm already up 100,000 <laughs> since I invested in it. Why tweet it? Why, why tell the world about it? I started tweeting out my business stuff because yeah. Instagram got taken down and I needed some way to gain press. And they love writing articles every time I do something. So I just keep doing it. So you spend a million dollars in an investment that is almost guaranteed to make profit and you're buying marketing because every news platform that talks about this kind of stuff is writing articles about you. Exactly. Damn, that's genius. <laughs> do what I gotta do. I saw some backlash that said something like, it is disgusting how you rich people can do all this and if we try and do this, we can't. It's like you could whip out your titties. You could whip out your or, titties. Or your, or your pee pee. Or your schlongs. That's right. Because before I started doing social media, I couldn't even afford to fill up my gas tank. Now own, I own, own a many gas, gas station. Tanks. Yeah, exactly. Do you feel like it gets more <laughs> press because people do have that image that you are just someone that uses their body and they're like, what? This person I think, actually yeah. makes smart business I moves? think it's surprising to people. Yeah, that people makes sense. less amazed if you were someone else. Oh, absolutely. If I was a male, they probably wouldn't care as much. But because I look like a bimbo. I look like a himbo. There's nothing wrong with that. It means we're hot. True. You stream almost 400 hours a month. I did Jesus the Christ. 730 hours in a month is there ever a moment that you are not streaming that you're like wait oh. she's she's streaming more than she is not streaming that is so crazy she's in a year she is streaming she spends more time streaming than she does spend not streaming that is fucking crazy 
Well, I haven't had a day off for me since February. But every day that I'm not streaming, we are recording content. Do you ever have a break? I would say sometimes when I go to the barn, like sometimes I'll take like an hour or two to myself before then just to like relax and hang out with my horses and then I'll start my stream. You mentioned that your looks have a shelf life. Yes. And therefore what you do has a shelf life because it relies on your looks. That's the thing. People don't re people don't give her the respect. Like people love shitting on her, but she works so hard. And she's smart. She knows what she's doing. What will happen to your career as you age? Before we continue learning about the world of Amory. I'm actually very inexperienced oh. sexually. I've had like one partner before, so my body count's really low. I'd like to take just one hot spicy second to remind you that you can also products and just native sleep very bent night home some of us have a shelf life yes and therefore what you do has a shelf life because it relies on your looks do you have any fear about what will happen to your career as you age there's so many girls coming up in the industry who are going to be younger hotter so it's there's always so much i used to stream 200 hours a month and when i was streaming 200 hours a month i felt like i was always live and she's doing double that and more. That's Life fucked. From it. In a career where your looks are very important, I feel like it's so easy to get drowned out by just more attractive people every year. Are you hyper focused on your looks? Yeah, I make sure I'm working out enough. I'm eating a healthy diet. I make sure that like I don't get injured. Like I'll never go paintballing with friends or anything because oh, I'm like I can't have you're very bruises. protective of your body. Like I even uh, fell off my horse during a photo shoot and that made a bruise on one of my butt cheeks and the important they, butt cheek or the less important one the one that i could hide if i was on my good side luckily oh, okay but like, <laughs> not bad but from like a straight on back shot people were like is that a poop stain I'm like no <laughs> it's a bruise what's next for emory well i just made a rap she has animals well she said that the reason she's making trying to make all this money is so that she can run a a an animal sanctuary that's going to cost two million dollars a year to run that's just going to be a massive ranch for like dogs and stuff to roam free and uh you know do that when they need to like that's her goal she just wants to make enough money to do that trainer extreme 600 hours a month that's crazy that means if he streams 600 there's 700 hours in a month uh that's fucking crazy he streams for like 40 hours and then he'll have a nap, right? And then he starts streaming again. And the whole time he sits there gambling. Whoops. Crazy. In the past month, he streamed 300 hours. So yeah, no, he streams he streams less than Amaranth. In the past three months, he streamed 800. So yeah, he streams a lot less than Amaranth. Crazy. Amaranth is fucking... Can, is there a way? Can you can compare people on this? Let's look at Amaranth. Whoops. Did I spell it wrong? Oh, who cares? <laughs> and it's centered around my 7-Eleven. Yeah, so the, knowing that she streams a lot more than fucking train wrecks, that shows how much she streams. <laughs> <laughs> what? And it's kind of like me uh, firing back at haters. I made it intentionally kind of cringy and memeable so that yeah. people would talk about it more. Because I feel like if it's too good, people won't remember it. So you have to make it a little cringy. A, a, little, a little bad, yeah. Stuff that people would be like, watch this. The song's already recorded, right? Yeah, song is recorded. But you're still shooting the video. Correct. You want to be in it? <laughs> you want me to be in your music video? Yeah, if you want to. I would love nothing more. Hell yeah. Can we? Are we actually going to do it? <laughs> yeah. There actually is something really exciting that I can share with you. I recently signed a contract with Playboy to be on centerfolds that makes me a Playboy model now officially. That's cool. What's weird though, even though Playboy is also centered around lewd girls, people respect it more. Interesting. If it's companies using women for personal gain, but they don't respect the women themselves as they do it oh, on their own. Oh, having autonomy yeah. sucks. Yeah, being dumb. entrepreneurs, getting the proper
pockets off their own body completely. That's weird. What do you think <laughs> is the biggest misconception about you? I'm some kind of sexual goddess. You're not a sexual goddess. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out of here, man. <laughs> I thought I was interviewing a sexual goddess. <laughs> this shit. I'm actually very inexperienced oh. sexually. I've had like one partner before, so my body count's really low, and I think people always expect it to be high, especially if you monetize right. your body. Do you think there are any of your viewers that just heard you say that you are not this image that they have in their head of what you're like and are now disappointed? Oh, I'm sure there are. The I feel like there would be more people that would be, that like, more of those creepy people would be, uh, would think of that as a positive, you know? They wouldn't be like, she's not a sex goddess, fuck. They'd be like, oh, my little queen, she's she's so inexperienced. What? She's not gonna fuck me? <laughs> what? Yeah, I don't do hookups. I I'm am sorry. I am so sorry for all the dreams that have been broken today. <laughs> Crying little violet. All right, you got five seconds to shout out or promote anything you want directly into camera. Go. You can find all my active links on downbad.com because by the time you see this at some point, one of those platforms may have changed. There's no point in shouting out them individually. Subscribe to Anthony's channel. He's awesome. Great content. Loves talking to controversial people. Mm -hmm. so that way you learn more about them. That's maybe right. Maybe you find out that... They're not just, you know, attention whores online. They're actually people. Well, there you have it. I spent it. I like her website, downbad.com. That's sick. <laughs> All right, chat. I am going to jump off. Thank you so much for coming. I hope you enjoyed the stream. I hope you have a wonderful day slash night.